Hello, welcome to the Jones Zone. So, this little vlog, I thought we'd do a Doctor Who quiz together. Well, you can sort of do it with me. I'm going to answer all the questions, obviously, but let's see how well I do. Um, you know, joining along. The one I'm doing, um, actually, is the Ultimate Doctor Who Fan Quiz Part 1 Modern Who. And we're just going to do Modern Who because there's 30 questions, so it'll take forever. Um, if we do both, um, and I mean that's thirty questions for each part, so you know it's it's pretty mad. Um, so we just do modern who as well because I feel like most people will do relatively well with modern who. Um, so see how well I do. So question one, what is Chen Seven? Um, that is a deadly plague. Um, what I like about uh this uh, quiz actually because I'm doing this off of the official BBC Doc 2 page is all the questions are submitted by people um, so it's like a nice variation of questions um, so question 2 what were the last words that the 10th Doctor said in the end of time part 2 before he regenerated and what episodes did he repeat them in that is I don't want to go and he repeated them in day of the Doctor E pretty easy so far. Which planet are the Slovene from? Uh, Rixacoracophalopatorius, Roxacoracophalopatorius, Raxacoracophalopatorius, but it's obviously Raxacoracophalopatorius. Um, question four. What was the name Henry Van Staten gave to his prize captured alien? Dalek, Rusty, or Metaltron? Go for Metaltron, and that is right. What is the name of the most invaded planet in the galaxy? Tivoli, Uaxrius, Sontar. That's Tivoli. I believe that's the planet that um, uh, uh, David Walliams' character is from in the Gold Complex. Um, I'm pretty sure it's that planet. Uh, which Shakespeare play are the Doctor and Martha watching in the Shakespeare Code? Macbeth, Twelfth Night or Love's, Love's Labour's Lost? Well, that would be Love's Labour's Lost. It'd be pretty brutal, actually, if they were watching Macbeth, because Macbeth quite a quite a violent play. Um, in The Time of the Angels, the Doctor mentions that he is on which famous author's bowling team? Jane Austen, Virginia Woolf, uh, Geoffrey Cho Cho Chaucer? Choicer? I don't know how you say that. Uh, Virginia Woolf. That one's quite an easy one. Um, in the Forest of the Dead, the Doctor saves River, but only after she has sacrificed herself to save everyone else who was trapped on the library hard drive. What is, slash are, River Song's absolute final word or words before her sacrifice? Um, now, this one's a, a really good question, actually, because they, they've given you spoilers, What you watch us run, and goodbye, sweetie. And she does say, you watch us run in that episode. Um, uh, and I believe that's a bit before she stops talking. Because her very last word is spoilers. Because um, she says that just before she plugs in the, the thing and sacrifices herself. Um, which fruit does the 10th Doctor dislike? And in which episode does he tell us this? I believe that's pears and human nature. Yep. Uh, when was the episode Father's Day set? Well, they're giving you some tough answers here. You've got 85, 87 or 99. Now, I believe it's 87 and I am right. Uh, what was the name of the episode in which the 10th Doctor got to say something he'd always wanted to say? Alonzi Alonso. I believe that's Voyager of the Damned. Yep. Uh, according to the Doctor, what is the most important thing you need to get across the universe? A warp drive, a wormhole refractor, or a hand to hold? I believe that's a hand to hold. Yep. Uh, finish the quote from New Earth. Oh baby, I'm beating out a salsa, samba, or tango. Well, I believe that is samba. Uh, complete the Doctor's line in the 2008 episode Midnight. Rose Tyler, Martha Jones, Donna Noble, Tardis. Yes. 
I, I think uh, Midnight's quite an underrated episode, actually. I don't think many people talk about it. I like that episode. Um, during Tobias Zed's final moments in the Satan Pit, the Beast says, uh, through him I shall never die. The fall to me is forever. Uh, in the bleeding hearts of men. What three things did he then list? Vanity, obsession, lust. Obsession, security, and love. Time, space, and vanity. I believe it's vanity, obsession, and lust. And it is. Nice. Um, who did the Doctor call a nice man after his fight with the Sycorax and the Christmas invasion? Now, I watched this one quite recently because I'm doing a Doctor Who, modern Doctor Who rewatch. That's, that's kind of what gave me the idea to do this uh, vlog. Um, so I know that this is after death. Um, what were Peter Capaldi's first words in Doctor Who? No, sir, all 13. Kidneys, modern art. That's kidneys. Um, be weird if it was no, sir, all 13. If that's the first thing he said, because, um, it wouldn't really make sense, would it? Um, in The Caretaker, what gadget does the Doctor use to help fight against Scovok? The Scovox Blitzer, uh, Invisibility Ring, Invisibility Watch, Invisibility Coat, the Invisibility Watch. That's another underrated episode. I quite like The Caretaker. Um, what does Idris tell Rory at the end of The Doctor's Wife? Um, the only water in the forest is the river. Petrichor. Uh, the little boxes will make you angry. So it's the only water in the forest is the river because spoiler alert, she's talking about how River Song is um, Amy and Rory's child. Um, one of those plot twists that I've never been a big fan of. Um, what should you always take to a party? An apple, a banana, a pear. It's a banana. Uh, how long was the doctor trapped in the confession, confession dial? Three and a half billion years, four billion years, four and a half billion years. See, if you don't know this, this would just be a total guess. But um, I really, 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 really like Heaven Sent. Um, Hellbent, not as much. Hellbent, I think, really loses um, the whole finale vibe for me. But Heaven Sent, I think, is an amazing episode. Um, and Because and, Capaldi is an incredible actor. So just to see him deliver all these lines... By himself for 45 minutes. It's a great episode. And the answer is four and a half billion years. Um, although I don't think we find that out until. Hell Ben. I can't remember if he says it in Heaven Sent. Um, I know. Um, one of the sisters of the Khan. The, the main one. She says. Um, four and a half billion years. But that's in Hell Ben. Um. What is the name of the novel Amy wrote in which the main character was called Katie? Sunshine Falls, Summer Falls, Summer Stream, Summer Falls. Um, what was Danny Pink's birth name? Theodore George Rupert. That's Rupert. Danny Pink, I feel, was really poorly used in Doctor Who. He had, like... They had such a good opportunity to finish his story with Clara's but instead they made Clara drag out which I I, I, I don't know I, I always feel weird about series 8 and series 9 um that little chunk um because it's just some weird story elements um because Danny Pink was a really good character and I just wish we got more of a closure to his story um I mean I, I like his stuff in Last Christmas but I do just wish we saw more of him. Um, just before he regenerated in the time of the Doctor, the 11th Doctor said what? Um, I'll always remember when the Doctor was me. I'll never forget when the Doctor was me. I don't want to go. Well, that is, I'll always remember when the Doctor was me. Um, and it's one of those ones that I cry at. I cry at very select episodes of Doctor Who, mostly regenerations, because like, like a Doctor passing on the torch is it's a big moment when you're a Doctor Who fan um, and it's always very emotional um, in the episode of uh, Vincent and the Doctor Vincent van Gogh the Doctor and Amy Pond have to face which alien the Krillotane the Crinoid the Crathace that's the Crathace love Vincent and the Doctor and um, this will go out after but 
as I'm recording this, um, the next live tweet along is going to be Vincent and the Doctor with Richard Curtis, which is going to be amazing. Uh, at what age did Amy Pond die? 82, 85, 87. See, all those numbers are so close that if you didn't know, you'd have to guess, but it is 87. Um, and I believe Rory dies like five years before her on the tombstone. Um, what is the name of the song the Tenth of Doctor plays in the TARDIS in Truth and Claw? We will rock you, hit me with your rhythm stick, toxic. It's hit me with your rhythm stick. Uh, how long is a night on Derillium? 22 years, 23 years, 24 years. That is 24 years. Um, yeah. Uh, what school did Rose Tyler go to? Jericho Street Junior School, Powell High School, Cole Hill School. Now see, this is really tricky. It's Jericho Street Junior School. Um, but she doesn't, it doesn't come up very often. Um, I, I, Pretty sure the only time it comes up is in the first episode of New Who, Rose, when she talks about her gymnastic uh, thing. Um, and in Dark Water, which novel did Clara retrieve one of the TARDIS keys from? The Time Traveller's Wife, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Time Machine, uh, The Time Traveller's Wife. And I got 29 out of 30. Um, I don't know which one I got wrong. I didn't I didn't see which one I got wrong, actually. Because um, I thought I got them all right. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll look back at the screen recording and figure it out. Um, there is a part two, which is Classic Who. So if you'd like to see me do the Classic Who quiz, make sure to comment, like, below. Um, yeah, com comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see me do the classic Who quiz. Um, but yeah, if you like this, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.